morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Monday morning. Here goes the first load. All right. So there goes the first load. Um, we got a couple inches of rain last night. More chance of rain today, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe the road will hold up for us. We'll see. All right, everybody. So that's uh, see that's number four. And um, it started raining right after George left. Right. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, um, it started raining after George left. And, uh, it's been raining ever since. So. It's been raining the past hour. Maybe they'll knock off here directly. See uh, the pine tops over there. We're gonna cut that too, but that's across the main road out there. Rains too much, we might have to move over there. I don't know. Everybody, let's see, it's uh, quarter after 11. This will make number nine. Yeah, number nine. No, make number 10. <coughs> anyway, moving along pretty good. Had a couple, couple setbacks this morning, but uh, not too major. Skin tight. He he just left. He just got here. Loaded him up Friday with ply logs, and uh, he didn't have time to make it, so he's take him this morning. He ain't talking about. It. He woke up three o'clock this morning, and it was raining so hard he figured we weren't going to be working well, uh, that's what he got for figuring all right so let's get this truck out of here but anyway y'all had a had a good weekend great weekend um Saturday. I didn't work Saturday. I was thinking about it, but I know. Stay to the house. Stay to the house. Got the grass cut. You know, stuff like that. Sunday, when you know, went to church and 
went to my brother's house after him, cooked out a little bit for Father's Day and uh, kind of a going away party. His wife's uh, nephew getting ready to leave to go into the army. A little thing for him, you know what I mean? A little cake and stuff. Father's Day, it's uh always here lately it's kind of a little bittersweet you know my dad he, he ain't here let's see this is the uh, it is third he had a third father's day without him yeah I guess it, it gets a little easier help that I got kids of my own, you know, try and not, not dwell in the fact that I, my dad ain't there, you know, stuff like that. And I got to see my brother this year, you know, a couple years I weren't able to see him. That's always good, you know. Then little, little El Chapo Ray Ray had to leave this morning. Uh, his wife broke down last night on the uh, bridge, and I don't know, man, it was like midnight or something, one o'clock in the morning. But anyway, he said so he went out there, him and his buddy went up there trying, you know, see what was wrong with the truck. They already called the tow truck and stuff, get it off the bridge. Anyway, this morning he went to go. He, he came to work and then asked Jimmy, you know, if he could leave to go handle that situation. Jimmy said, "Well, I do you one better. I'll take it. I'll take you over there and we'll see what's wrong with it." But um, truck blew up. Jimmy said, had, had metal in the oil, had water in the oil. Y'all pray for El Chapo, El Ray Ray. Lord, work it out for him one way or the other. Yeah, the sun's finally starting to come out. Um, it's supposed to get real hot today. So hopefully, but we're supposed to get a right good rain tomorrow. So, uh, meteorologist Monkey Paw over there said cold front coming. It's going to rain real hard. But I don't know. We'll see when it gets here. Well, JP, he wants it to rain. He want to stay home. And, uh, I ain't got no problem staying home sometimes, but I can't afford to stay home. You know what I mean? 
If I miss one day, it messes me up. With the thing, the way things are right now. It is what it is. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Maybe it won't rain too bad tomorrow. Cliff Buck, he done come up here to look at the road. He said it didn't look too bad, but uh, I don't know about that rain tomorrow, you know what I mean? Talking about can't tear this road up like we tore the last one up. Yeah. Well, somebody got to tell me to stop, because uh, I ain't gonna be the one to say stop. Don't give up, don't go home, no sir. Probably gonna send these trucks on some long runs when they get back. seems to be all right. I don't know. This second load I'm going to send up there. All right.
then we uh, go back stacking stacking the deck up and get ready for the third round. So I'll check in with y'all later. everybody let's see it's uh 10 after four got number 19 backing in on here ray ray out there getting a getting his tire change he done had a flat tire today anyway we're gonna put some hardwood on this fella here he ain't gonna be able to take it till the morning goes over to a wet deck man down man down good lord look how slow cooking is I ain't no everybody so well I make a couple phone calls get some stuff straight about this wood here so y'all missed a little bit but anyway anyway George and then George called me want to know if I had something if he come back really got no Greenville he wouldn't be able to make it to Newbern in time so. no I don't well because he I told him I could load your friend in the morning you know like I'm doing this cat here but he said he, he going to go get the tire changed in the morning he just bought six uh six new tires I don't know, man. Two, three weeks ago, something like that. He said they didn't have the tire that he normally gets. So he went with a more expensive tire. Thinking it'd be alright, you know. And he said it was worse than... Worse than the other ones, even though they were like $40 more tire. Called them Americana tires or something. I don't know what he got. What now? Oh! Yeah, need some wood out here. Need some wood out here. But yeah, it's just been uh, one thing after another today. Typical Monday. Flow, Ray Ray blew his engine up in the pickup truck. Got a flat tire on the skitter. I had a, a change of O-ring. Cutter man got stuck. 
it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. We still got 19 loads. We'll have a little bit start out tomorrow. We got about two loads of saw logs, two loads of ply logs, <coughs> a load of pulp wood. It'll be about five loads. every bit of an hour, hour and a half to change one. Thirty-five, seven on the front. That's no. That's pretty good. It'd be a little hard sometimes to get weight out of hardwood, especially. I mean, if you have a bunch of oak and stuff like that, it wouldn't be that hard. But you ain't got nothing but poplar and gum. It takes a little bit to make a load. Is that all you got, fellas? JP. What do you say, Blue Man? I said, is that all you got? Oh, no, 
Colors your hair, man. Let your lizard green. Mm, that sound about right. I like it. I ain't yeah. got to wear a hard hat. <laughs> they see me coming a mile away. A hard hat to protect that noggin, not see you coming. <laughs> 